praying? Welcome, welcome. Why are you praying before this episode? Because you are guys you? were trying to kick me in the balls. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to another episode of Bourbon and Booze, where we like to explore the wonderful world of whiskey. And it's a Thursday, I believe. I never know what day it is, but it's Thursday. And today we are going to look at a very classic uh, whiskey. So if you like what we do, make sure you hit that like and subscribe and check out all of our other social media offerings. It really does mean a lot to us. Uh, today we are looking at um, the classic Irish whiskey. Jameson's. Uh, this is actually our second or third bottle because we end up drinking too much of it before we can do a episode. So had to make sure this got in the lineup. This is Jameson's. Uh, I'm not gonna say classic. They're just their Jameson's main whiskey. Whiskey. Uh, it's an Irish whiskey from the Jameson uh, Distillery, which is owned by Pernod Pernard. Uh, Rochard, or I can never say that group. It is, I don't know, the people that own Jameson's. The people that own Jameson's? Yeah. Is that on the Bernard bottle? Bernard Ciroc or something. No, it's not. It's, it's kind of like a Diego or, you know, a big conglomerate. The cost for the Irish whiskey Jameson's is $21.99, Re really reasonable. I actually wrote on the bottle, I bought this for $20.70. I try to write, you know, whose bottle it is, because Cody keeps some of his up here, um, when we get it and the price. Um, proof, 40% 80, 40% ABV and 80 proof. And it's aged for a minimum of four years. And Jameson is famous because they're triple distill their uh, whiskeys. And triple I'm distills. going to go out on a limb. Sure you are. And I have no research, but I think a couple months ago in the United States pretty much paid everything for Jameson and now the rest of the year it's just profit for them because there's one day in the year where America just goes crazy for Jameson. Oh, so you're saying on St. Patty's Day pretty much pays for Jameson's overhead for the entire year. And now the rest of the year it's just profit. I can for see that. All right, uh, just like I can see that uh, uh, the Kentucky Derby probably pays profit for a lot of the. Uh, yeah. So I guess we need a really good uh, Islay Scotch Day here in the U.S. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is your classic Jameson. At twenty one ninety nine, it's going to be a three barrel on cost, barely. Barely, it could probably in your local area be a four barrel, as you could probably get it under twenty bucks. And I've seen this on sale before for under twenty. So oh yeah, but it is a three barrel for us. So um, let's go ahead and do our review. The week before St. Patty Day's, where I lived before in Phoenix, you go in the grocery store where you can buy liquor. <laughs> this he is, always wants to put that jab in Texas every time. That, this is cheap. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and do our review. Smells like an Irish whiskey. I haven't drank this in a long time. The aroma is very, very mild. It's yeah. Fun. Okay, so for cost, $21.99, that makes it a three barrel. Uh, we are identical across the board, threes straight across, so this is a 12 rating, which is going to make it a three barrel overall. Uh, for aroma, we each get three. What do you got? I got a little bit of malt. 
Okay. There's a little floral, but it's really got just a... It doesn't have a bold aroma at all. It's very neutral aroma, I think. Okay. It's got COVID. <laughs> I find uh, it does have aroma. I think it's a little spicy with some hints of vanilla. Um, I'm actually getting hints of rye. That spiciness of the rye. Very familiar aroma of rye whiskey is is coming into this but i can tell that this is an irish whiskey um i can tell that it's more of a pot stilled rather than a column stilled just because of the richness of the aroma it may not be overpowering like you say but it's it's kind of got a richness to it i also get a little bit of fruity um aspects to it thinking more like Apricot. I don't know if apricot's a fruit or a vegetable. I think it's a fruit because it's on a tree. It's a fruit. So. It's a... so it's a little bit of an apricot uh, aroma to me. For flavor, we each give it a three. There's a little bit of like, a little coffee, a little bit of chocolate, a little herbal tea. Nothing really. You're throwing the stuff in there. It's going to be so much stuff I have to put under the it's, aroma. It's just not really like... I know we've tried quite a few Irish whiskeys and stuff, and I know this is going to piss people off, but I think this is like the margarine of Irish whiskey. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's a little bit medicinal to me. Um, got that little medicinal aspect to it. It's tangy and tart. Um, I'm getting banana and apricot. Uh, it's kind of just a generic, all-around uh, flavor, but I think it's unique enough in the whiskey world that that's why people like it, Jameson so much because they think that's the quintessential Irish whiskey. Yeah, and I'm not saying it's not bad or anything. It's it's not bad. You're not saying it's bad. I'm not saying it's bad. Okay. I'm not saying it's. Because yeah. you said you're not saying it's not bad. <laughs> that means it's bad. <laughs> no, it's not bad. It's not a horrible whiskey. I I mean, I like it. It's probably our third bottle we've gone through. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty good, but it's, it would not be my go-to choice. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, Rider's Tears. Hellcat Maggie, which is way cheaper, I like a lot more. But if I went over to somebody's house or something... And they said, you want a yeah. Jameson or... Oh, yeah. If you're going to the out to the places you go, and I don't go anywhere, but... I just think that place, if you're going to get into Irish whiskey, you know... And if somebody says, you want a shot of... I'd be like, okay. If you're going to do Irish whiskey, why don't you branch to something like Rider's Tears? Yeah. Or, um, you know, there's a whole bunch. Green Spots, The Spots. Um, Red Breast. There's just so much. Proper 12. I mean, there's a lot of good Irish whiskeys out there rather than just Jameson. For bite, um, just a little bit of lingering back bite, but not really. So that's why this is a three barrel average rating. Not bad. Um, for the price, it's definitely worth getting. Have on your bar. I can kind of see why it's like probably the most popular Irish whiskey in America because it's just well it's I think it's the most popular Irish whiskey in the world because it weathered the Irish whiskey collapse where they pretty much collapsed into really three different distilleries throughout the late 20th century um, where Irish whiskey used to be king of all whiskeys in the 1800s even earlier it pretty much lost that after World War II and completely collapsed. And it's just now coming back. It's kind of like the Canadian whiskey mm -hmm. where those industries just collapsed and Jameson was able to survive it and they I have a really good marketing campaign. So, Oh yeah, it's like you go to the liquor store and there's some little gal sitting there pouring you some Jameson. Never been to a liquor store where some little gals pouring me Jameson. Yeah, we tried that brew, that beer. Their stout? Man, yeah, that was stout. years ago. But I'm saying they're still there. Okay. 
She's not a, the young old girl now. She's an old girl. <laughs> You're so awful. All right. Tell us what you think about Jameson. Tell us what you think about Andy's, you know, sexist chauvinistic. Ages. Ageism. Tell us what you think about Jameson, any other Irish whiskeys. Um, check out the other Irish whiskeys. There'll be a uh, link for the playlist for Irish whiskeys. Check those out. Tell us what we need to do next. We do have several coming up, I think. Red Bass 12, we haven't done yet, is coming out, and a couple others. Um, just tell us what you think, and make sure you hit that like and subscribe. It means a lot to us. Check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and all of our merchandise, and we will see you next week. Remember, there's no bad whiskey. There's only good whiskey and great whiskey. This is and this pretty is good decent. whiskey. Yeah. yeah. Right. Cheers. Laters.